streaming uh, now. Hi guys, uh, we're live. Oh, we're we're, we're uh, trying to school six hey string right here because he hasn't picked his song for the night because he's you know what? Kind of a, he's a new friend. For two weeks. And I'm a new friend. Know, yeah, he's a new friend. Doesn't really know old fandom stuff. I'm like, just do like not a clever pony. And he's like, I've never I do to do that. no There's old fandom stuff. stuff. I just can't okay. remember any of it. <laughs> if He's you can't like, remember it, then how can you prove you know well, it? Well, I'm trying to fill in the gaps of music picks that we haven't done okay. yet. He's like, what's a not I, a well, clever I pony? Good lord. I was, I was just about to argue really myself because I didn't realize that I had the stream volume up and yeah, I heard my exactly voice. What happened to me. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, there. <laughs> vibration should be off now. Hello, Father Mord. Parchy. Wow. Are are you having Cloverfield happen in your backyard again? No. I don't think so. Wait, what did that's, I miss? That's what I think of every time uh, I hear that vibration. What you e missed. Every time you, you hear my phone vibrate, you think of Clover. I still haven't seen Cloverfield. Like Sounds I was really so. excited when I first ran into the ARG. You're not missing much. I you're really not missing much. Though. That's what no, I thought. Cloverfield not. is Dude. just a freaking like. Okay, if someone filmed a movie on a tilt first world, that's what you get. Basically, <laughs> no. you're witnessing the movie in first person mode, and the oh, movie that's is not okay. Shaking. You're I'm, witnessing was, 70s dad of, camp. I was, about I was the watching, scene where it went half life. I what? was watching a movie. Oh, when, the, when the girl explodes? Yeah. Hey. Oh, but, yeah. Hey, hey, guys. That was pretty guys, up. hey. Wasn't that bad. Hey, hey, guys. Nice. Well, is, anybody, is anybody watching the stream? It's off air. Yes, it's off, yeah, it's off air. Oh, Son it's off air. of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. And I see it back. Oh, and okay. we're back. And it's back. And okay. Back. Cool. So there was a 30 second delay to it coming back. Cool. Because, yeah, it disconnected yeah. for a little bit there, and it was like reconnecting okay, so in five, four, three. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, Cassie. Yeah. Remember. Yeah. In 15 minutes, we go from pre-show to actual show, and we don't want to hear your goat, your goat simulator, more goats edition Dylan, stuff. Dylan, just or... listen to that song I just linked, and you'll have something. Did you just call me Dylan? Because <laughs> yeah, that's what it says on Skype. <laughs> yeah, it actually you, that's does the say... first time you've ever called me Dylan. That's... <laughs> yeah, I don't call it's you so Dylan. This is the first time I've hosted are, like, this show so There are, three other Dylans that I... <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> like, that oh, just was... Not a clever oh. pony, yes. Uh, okay, I'll Dang it, okay, that's that's six. For you, Dylan. Dang it, Bob. <laughs> Go listen to the songs. Damn, listen to the song. Hold <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag professionalism. Yeah. You know what I still have? That app what? from last week. <laughs> No, oh, I don't know what Please happened, but I out. can already tell this is going to be something that makes us lose viewers. Man. A soundboard. <sighs> God damn yeah. it. See? Yeah, that app. Okay, Snow, <laughs> I'm going to walk to New Jersey. 30 seconds in, still You know, born. you had the <laughs> con, you just never did it. <laughs> I... I am going... Hmm. There weren't a lot of good songs you back take in your phone. Band. I'm sorry. It's just they all seemed right. good to us, and we look back. Well, I mean, glasses. there's Eurobeat. Can... Travis was good. Let's be real. Travis was good. Travis was Travis. good. Yeah. Travis is Not good. A lot of I our hands are the whole Travis Eurobeat or... Metallica disco thing, and I don't know why, but they're not. What? No, hold on. Uh, you Do... know what? No, 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 no. We're gonna pick Travis. We're gonna go on Luna. This. Do Luna. Except pick... no, I'm gonna do Luna. No, but baby. I'm gonna do. It's okay, Dice. It's okay. That's the sound of. Dice it's funny because when massive... when that joke was made, all I could, the only thing running through my head was Millennium Alone. So. <laughs> <laughs> Infinite. Yes. Infinite. Uh -huh. I'm thinking of the... right now because it's black. For like most. Have you people. refreshed oh. the the screen? <laughs> I don't want a final refresh. <laughs> you were thinking Millennium Alone. I was thinking when we were doing the Valentine special. 
and I picked oh, that Tarby song. Oh, the Tarby And Tarby so starts messaging me on Skype, like, you know what my inspiration was? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm like, what? And I still don't know if I should say it on air. No, nope. you shouldn't. It, uh, but it involved it... Cyril and a very good dream about Luna. I know, oh, I me, remember. I'm gonna guess what it is because. No, you're not going to guess. No, 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 I'm not going to say it. Snowblitz. I'm not going to no, say it because knowing Tarby <laughs> he is known to be. You know what's great very, about very, subject very, changes? They're, they're pretty great. That's what's great yeah. about subject changes. Hey, <laughs> what we're talking about we before. actually changed the subject. Yeah, let's change it. <laughs> I didn't Oi. say it. I'm just so we've been dancing around head. this for a little bit already. But you guys in the chat can probably figure out what we're going to be talking about tonight. I bet they can't. Oh, we're wow. Wow. Yes. Archie, yes. way to insult our viewers' intelligence. No, I, I, I don't think that they're dumb. I think that they don't pay attention to us. I well, think they don't love I us. don't blame Do them because I don't them? either. <laughs> we don't even pay attention to each other. Let's see how much we're talking over one another. Exactly. I'm sorry you were saying words. I think part of it, though, got, is like, Skype. I, hold up, hold up. I'm going to let you, you really finish. Don't but I swear, I swear, six, <laughs> I swear, I will go Navi on all of you. <laughs> More so than I already do. Oi. Hmm. Apparently, uh, oh, did Alex just Mordic make this off his channel? Man, father ah, thinks, no, 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 uh, here it is. Talking about Close enough. Man, you guys really do talk over each other way too much. Um, Sorry. And you <laughs> just said the F Snow word, was so saying let's stuff just about... What? I said, no, man, it... you guys really do talk over each other a lot. That's literally he what said, I just said. Yeah, he didn't. No, he didn't say the F word. Did he? he oh, did not, yeah. I'm going and crazy. He really didn't. Good grief. In fact, he did not say any words with the letter F at the beginning of them at all. <laughs> this is one of those yeah. moments where I can legitimately say lies and slander. <laughs> <laughs> it's very rare. I actually oh, legitimately get to say, say that. Every time somebody says yeah. I'm in a call, I'm going crazy. <laughs> going. <laughs> you. Uh, Snow, it's hard to go somewhere that you already are. Yes, but I can control it at times. Yeah, yeah but like now going... he's like on the corner of Second and Main. <laughs> oh god! <sighs> I no. swear, all of you, all of you. To that horse. I have I can so never remember yeah. remember how to spell Odyssey, so uh, yeah, yeah. Just I, look I'm, at the using, dog. I'm using this picture. You know it's... what's really great about having a ton of alcohol in your room? Having <sighs> a ton of alcohol in your room. Having a ton of alcohol in your room. <laughs> so, are you gonna do Luna Nightmare Mode? Oh, dear. No, I'm doing Alex S's remix of it. Oh, but you should do Nightmare Mode because it's yeah. awesome. <clears throat> we've it uh, we've it's actually Nightmare Mode though. If you we want did. to hear, um, yeah, Ooh, that's right. Yeah. We did, yeah. When we uh, did um, Travis's interview, yeah. Yeah. Also, it it happens to be like in our uh, in our new opening credits. Yep. Look, we also like interviewed him twice. I don't remember which one aired. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the well, one where we featured night blue not nightmare mode. Okay. Yeah. No, Steve. Because he will whine about nothing and everything all at once. <laughs> Do we have the time to listen to you whine? Are those lyrics? Yes, those are the yes, lyrics. They the are. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm getting a really like late '90s vibe from this sentence. <laughs> it really is. Oh, that's unfortunate. The late '90s? Yes, the they were. No. Hey, I grew up in the late. I I just realized and they were that unfortunate. <laughs> one of the I, I didn't realize that I hadn't already opened a bottle of wine that had been sitting here for as long as it has. Well, freaking thought... double fist it, you you wuss! I was about to say something else and I can't on air. <laughs> Way to go, six self censorship. Caught himself. Yep, he How caught you himself. Catch yourself. You're Mormon. You rarely ever do anything. Exactly. But it's great when we get into slip. <gasps> Which is rare mm. for him to slip. It is rare, but it's great when it happens. Usually, oh, I just beautiful. get really pissed off, and then yeah, yeah it's beautiful. <laughs> usually, he just and gets really pissed off for yeah. more than knives that he made. And like, no, usually, usually he just gets really pissed off and goes and cuddles his pillow. 
And that's that's all there is to it. Wait, who Wait, are we talking it? about? Remember what I was just saying <laughs> about how tempting. he makes his own knives? <laughs> oh, we're talking about Six and his pillow. Right. <laughs> You're so remember that Six. Six. <laughs> oh my God. Why am I not so dead drinking? next year. Oh, uh, I think he's going to find what the time to kill it's going to take that long. Yeah, I think he's going to find the time oh. to kill us sooner. Speaking of killing people, I pick up my new gun tomorrow, so that's fun. <laughs> that is fantastic. You? I, I honestly get the feeling that the only reason any of us are still alive is that you didn't make it to Brony. Mm, yeah. Look, I still want to know what Most... kind of gun you're getting. Talk about it. I'm getting a Rock Island Armory 1911. Okay. Eh. Yeah. I don't know anything about AC. it. Eh. No, it's a 1911. It's freaking everybody knows about Nineteen eleven. Yes, okay. every everybody knows about firearms. Infinite, uh, I wasn't still shut alive up. in nineteen eleven. I mean, I mean, the nineteen eleven's an okay firearm. Six. Let's be let's be honest now. Oh it's gosh, an okay one. Huh. No. It's pretty good. It's okay. Eh, it's okay. What's you okay? What what's your choice? What's your choice? Uh, handgun wise. Yes. Mm. I do like the Beretta. I, I, I like the M5. I'm not going to lie. But that's just me. Thanks, the M5. Yeah. We are civilians, bro. Use the freaking <laughs> civilian designation. No. no. You know how many M5s there have been over the years? I'm pretty sure that there's a tank called an M5, and there's a grenade called an M5, and they're freaking everything's an M5. Yes, but if, if There's you... a BMW that's an M5. <laughs> Yes, but six one, that's a civilian thing and therefore wouldn't be called that in the military. Two, if you Google handgun, Beretta, and M five, you'll get one result. Uh -huh, first uh, yeah, but if you just type M five, then Beretta, you immediately get uh, BMW, the BMW M five. <laughs> well, I just actually, wanted to, the, I honestly the didn't know that there was an actual car. You know Starlight. I don't need your sass. You said one result. There's a and phone says called an M5. Yes, but is it made by Beretta? No, and is it a handgun? <laughs> <laughs> don't know if it's a handgun, but it's made by Sony. There so. is an app for that. What the heck? <laughs> this oh, looks God. like okay. Um, this looks like a not as cool version of the of the um P4X, the Storm. Ew. And speaking of which, okay, so you've got a freaking the M5. You got this weird little thingy that almost looks like a, a Walther with a silencer on it. And then right next to it is a 1911, and then a whole crap ton of twos. So you know what, you dink. What? What? You're a dink. <laughs> I By mean, the way, Infinite, are you gonna get views <clears throat> tonight while you're producing of any kind? Am I going to get what? Are you going to give cues? Yes, I gave cues last week. Yes, I wasn't here last oh, week. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's, uh. that is your fault. I gave cues last week like a boss, except for the first time when apparently I they know, didn't you hear know me. You gave cues? Dice gave cues. <laughs> no, Dice. How about you start mining your P's and Q's, all right? <laughs> I would, but Six. I don't have any beer, Starlight. Six, <laughs> I, want you, I want you to say... The the name of the artist that you wrote down the way you wrote it down. Uh, okay, let me let me um. <clears throat> Odyssey or wait, Odyssey. I swear I saw more B's in it than that. Let's there was that. no B's. No, oh, there's D's. Okay. Odyssey. Wow, how sober are you that you're seeing D's as B's? <laughs> I just saw yeah. tons of letters. Way, way, way more in letters. Like, and he never like, put an E in it. I feel like uh, I feel like Tim is like Bender. When he doesn't drink, he's just drunk. But when he drinks, he's fine. So it's that kind of theory for Tim. It's probably true. It probably is true. You kind of do act weird when you're sober. Well, why do you well, think I drink a lot? Kind of the yeah, that's true. You are Bender. You are a real. You are Bender in real life. 
Except you're Thanks human. for contributing to my cirrhosis by reinforcing a negative behavior. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer you. Stop. And and oh my god. Moving on. And what? <laughs> professionalism. <laughs> so speaking good of times professionalism, um, I'm sure everyone is aware, but in a few no. weeks we have the next part of season five coming out. Do we? A September Wait, it wasn't oh, your podcast or the show? The show. The show. We 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 are technically into season three of our show. We actually started season three three times. Wait, which season are we talking about? We're talking about ponies though. We're yes. talking about season twelve of Supernatural Snow. Get on the picture. <laughs> I'm not yeah. Supernatural talk now. I've never There's seen so it. many shows. This is, that this I is want. now a Super Hulock podcast. <laughs> oh god. I'm pretty excited about the new season of Agents of Shield, but I kind of am pissed off. I am too because I'm I'm, I'm looking forward character. to I, I wanna see what they do with the if they continue the women's thing before the movie comes out. You know. Oh, they are totally going to. <laughs> They have to. One of the main characters is. Yeah, but I mean, then spoiler. she could just disappear between yeah. seasons. Hopefully well, not. Spoiler yeah, but she's not alert. going to because she's been on freaking, like, everything Marvel-related. So. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, as far as, as far as spoiler alert, I mean, we are talking about stuff that was re revealed less than half of two. I mean... Mm. We're talking about spoilers on the same level of King Kong dies. Yeah, but something that happened what? at the end of season two is um uh, more of what well, I'm yeah. saying. No. is it's impossible for them to not have more Inhumans. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean like well, there there there's going to be an Inhumans movie in what 2017. Yeah. Is there? No, yes. later than that, I thought. Or is it 2017? Holy crap! When when are they going to put all these? Is there okay? So like, Civil War is coming out. Civil War is coming and out, and then Infinity Wars is next. That'll be in 2017. Yeah, which uh, I honestly think the Infinity Wars. Well, it's a better choice than Secret Wars. Well, okay. Here's the thing, though. They've been building up towards the or to the Infinity Wars for essentially the entire duration of the the I'll current say, MCU. Like a decade. Yes. Yeah. It would yeah, I mean, about the... like, every single movie has an Infinity Stone in it, so, yeah. <laughs> Question about uh, the Civil War. Is the Fantastic Four going to be in that movie? No, nope. because no. Fantastic Four got its... Okay, here's the thing. I already know Fantastic about Four that. is a Fox IP right now, currently. And the whole reason they made a new movie is because Fox was going to lose the rights to the name if they didn't make another movie. Which is funny, so... because that's how the even worse Fantastic we got made in the 90s. Oh my god, if yep. you haven't seen it, you need to. Apparently, or, the oh. new one's even worse than the 90s one. I find that hard to believe. I it find got it lower believable. ratings than Pixels. It really did. Oh, very, <laughs> did very. Oh, I know. I, I do know that. Uh, I, you, you do realize that I'm talking. I'm not talking about the one that got a theatrical release. I'm talking about the one that never got released and somebody leaked onto YouTube. Oh, well, I didn't know <laughs> that <laughs> exists. I'm gonna stand by my statements. Any oh, you mean the one that looked like it was freaking just filmed with a camcorder in a back alley? Yeah. With lots of fuck yeah, machines? I think I would that have one. fun yeah. watching that. It's oh, that's the 95. Bad. Yeah. It, Dude, it, no, it's seriously, it's, it comes off like a made for TV movie that was like way, way over its very tiny budget. So, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. What? what? Guess what time it is? It is nine o'clock. It it's past nine o'clock. this is blah 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 blah. It's nine oh one actually. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I I think you guys should introduce yourselves if that's what you mean. Yeah. It is entirely yeah. possible. Just, uh, that good. I'm Dylan. Tim's calling me Dylan, so that's my name for this episode. No, you're six string. Oh. No. You call yourself Dylan. No. I, I, string. I, I haven't come up with a Dylan good one. String. I haven't come up with a good one for Parchy yet. But so far, it's Shining, Bob, oh, and CD. Because I'm making puns off of all of your last names. What? Yep. Yep. Shining Star. Um, 
Bob Dylan, and CD-ROM. Yep. Oh. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Bob Dylan, no. Okay, all right. So you can go with decimal for me if you want to make Yeah, but no, it has fun. to come before your last name. It can't It can't be after. That's the decimal. Yeah. Oh. Rom. Dylan isn't my last name, you dunk. <laughs> yeah, you close enough. Sure. I'm just, Dylan's slow. Dylan's I'm just like slowly Mario changing Mario the vowel. Luigi Mario. <sighs> you, were, you were a dink, now you're a dunk. <laughs> How does it feel? You graduated. I I feel Dunk. accomplished. I am just that much closer to Dunkin' Donuts. So. Oh, oh, oh now you're a dog. Him... <laughs> <laughs> My cat is too big for that cat tree, but she is still enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we gonna do this and what? Oh, come on. Let's yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Intro. So intro order. Um, stream order. Stream order. Yeah. Uh, but I start. Oh, right. Fantastic! I don't have the stream. Been a while. Uh, yeah. Technically, the dice stream starts. doesn't show picture on my end, so oh. I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Hi, well, this is Starlight. Did, yeah, we're think... or we're not. And okay, this, uh... one more time. Restart. <laughs> Hi, this is Starlight. Take two. Dice. Six stream. Parchment scroll. Snow, Snow blitz. And infinite. And this is. It. No, you're not allowed to talk. <laughs> and this is Elements of Harmony. Gee, I don't know. <laughs> I know what song. Are we getting credits or? Everybody's nerves. Yeah, that's our intro. Everybody's <laughs> What if he didn't play the intro just to spite us right now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's great that you can read my mind. So great. <laughs> That's why I asked if we had. That's why had I started intro. singing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. No. I. I definitely. Okay. Oh, welcome to the episode. <laughs> welcome. Well. So, Dice. Since tonight, this was your idea, you want to nobody give made a guess. Down? Sure. Well, everyone, thanks for joining us tonight. What the what? It's our live studio audience. It's our live studio okay, audience. Okay, right now, one of my XCOM soldiers in the game I'm not currently playing just went, what is that noise? <laughs> um, <laughs> be careful about scrolling up that. Just uh, because. Okay. There was I a comment about app. butt weasels and something. And... If you need to talk. <laughs> I, I... Is Infinite going to play the intro, or... No, you guys already no, did the, no, You guys already did an we're, intro. We're, we're alive. Great. Oh, well. Yeah. Hey, guys. Tonight on the show, we bring up some of the best music the Brony fandom has to offer, the iconic songs from early in the fandom. We'll be discussing the impact they had on the direction of Brony music and how much has changed since then. And as if you tuned into the pre-show, you would know we just did this all last minute and actually don't have a plan. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> you, Dude, I was... Okay, that was impressive, and that actually sounded extremely well thought out for just pick a song. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you actually wrote that part. In You're the welcome. And no, like, it is kidding. written in the doc. Dice wrote it. That so, we can't, that we come up with it in the last minute? Last five. But anyway, no, guys. The, yeah. No, way to, way to, way to ruin the, the, the illusion of professionalism, guys. I think oh, we ruined yeah. the illusion of professionalism the moment we started airing pre-show. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I would say we did it the first time anyone heard. Hi, this is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. No, we can't even introduce ourselves. How pathetic this really is. <laughs> well, you know, I we swear. should we should be infinite. We, by the way, just throw this up on the stream because it sums up pretty much everything about tonight. Oh, no. Does it really? What what am I yeah, throwing up on? Oh, oh, I just I'm just looking at the fi the file name and that's. I need to see. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's really it. However, because you posted this picture, um, uh, I actually think this is a great segue to the, the song that I was going to feature tonight. Sorry to cut the banter off short, but um, I picked a song that's actually about an apocalyptic event in Equestria, so I think this train derailment paints that picture beautifully. So, what you are listening to is Aviators featuring Bronified, One Last Letter, on Element on Camelot Hill from the mountain, from the backyard of the pool, with the barbecue, with all that good jazz. In the barbecue. Somewhere in all that jazz. Somewhere in Beijing. <laughs> I oh, yeah, it. we said that last week. 
Oh my goodness, people. It hardly <laughs> <up> Beijing. <laughs> I forget how we got on to Beijing. Uh, a typo. Yeah. Right. I should have seen the signs Chaos has risen again after all this time Somehow I have to escape from This nightmare of a world ours has become What happened to the nation we all knew? We're crushed under discord's rule Where has harmony gone? Equestria's been gone for so long One last thing that I gotta say One more report before it's too late I'm begging you to stop this chaos today One last thing that I gotta prove One final goodbye on my own But my friends have turned against me I'm alone So many running and screaming I'm crying out Can you hear me? I refuse to believe That magic is dead There has to be more than the conflict in my head Dear princess Help me find a way To defeat the Rising One last thing that I gotta say One more report before it's too late I'm begging you to stop this chaos today One last thing that I gotta prove One final goodbye before we meet our doom Something happened to the peace that we all knew This is my one last letter to you
gotta prove One final goodbye Before we meet our doom Something happened to the peace That we all knew This is my one last letter to you One last letter by Aviators featuring Bronified. I have to say what right off the happened? bat before we this, okay. um, this is actually my first time hearing the original. I've only ever heard the VIP mix. Oh, really? Really? I don't think I've heard so, either one of those. Which and is really the VIP surprising. mix does not have Bronified's awesome guitar on it, which is a real shame. Which is why yeah. I've never listened to it all the way through. <laughs> Because when you came in, I was just supposed to say, whatever happened to Bronified? I know, for real. I don't know. He, he's, like, he was amazing, and he was like in everything. Like, he, did know he's of stuff. he did stuff with Cyril. Yeah. And, hold on, guys. We, we just went off there. If it wasn't for Bronified, I'm not sure we would have much of a metal scene. Yo. It, it just yeah. went off air. It's disconnected. We'll have about 30 seconds. And it reconnected. Okay. Okay, so what was I saying before we were so uh, rudely interrupted by we, um, by the stream dropping? Yeah, oh, Bronified, etc., etc. Like, no metal scene. <clears throat> yeah, there wouldn't yeah. really be a metal scene in Pony if it weren't for Bronified. I don't think he kicked it off. Yeah, yeah. I will. There were I will for sure before him, but they weren't very good. I mean, okay, uh, <laughs> like Prince Whatever came out with uh, Rainbow Thrash, like. Yeah. Around the same time that Bronified was doing stuff. I, so. I don't I associate to Prince Whatever anger, with but... metal, though. Yeah. I mean, okay. I... Uh, I don't associate Cyril with music. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow. But no, I think that <laughs> no, uh, no, no. Cyril had already released his System of a Down parody, P O N Y or whatever, by then. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and he was doing some stuff, but. It, he was. It took a while for his stuff to start catching on. Yeah, and, and what's Bronified, the thing is, I like, hadn't was the heard of Zero really yet. Brought metal to the forefront with his Brony. Yeah, well, especially since like any time that there's a freaking awesome guitar player, like people kind of can look at that and be like, "Whoa!" And mm. it, it shared around a lot because I mean, think about like how many of you have heard of Through the Fire and the Flames? Mm-hmm. Mainly it's just my because my favorite that's... level of brutal legend. <laughs> it's in brutal legend. Uh, it's in brutal really legend in an awesome me. chase scene. But... It is. Yeah, and I think that's just because it's part of the like the whole um, internet culture thing now is that like virtuoso guitar players are one of those things, kind of like cat videos that kind of just get shared. Between You're certain no groups of people, did you yeah, just about to have keyboard cat play you off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so um, but bringing this back to impact on the fandom, this song. I was getting there. <laughs> I'm just saying that like, really accessible, and a lot of people had heard of Bronified when, like, I was first joining the fandom and stuff like that. And so I'm, I can, I can believe that he kickstarted the metal scene a lot um, more. Just mm. from those facts alone. Right. But yeah. I miss him. But this is ultimately an aviator song. It so, is. Yeah. It is. It, it Even though Bronified, I would say, deserves the gushing, let's get back to this song. And mm -hmm. impact on the fandom. I mean, not just a lot of songs from this time. of. There was this, this thing is... called Toast Beard. Which yeah. was a music compo. Mm -hmm. And this was the winner of the one for an apocalyptic event in Equestria. So they did a song where there was an alternate future where Discord was never defeated, and this is Twilight Sparkle's cry to Princess Celestia, her last letter. Yeah, and it is, it's so moving. It's like, 
like a lot of the songs in that particular competition really strove to tell stories. I think this one did the best. Well, and even more than just trying to tell stories or, you know, assigning themes to random ponies, a big thing that Toastbeard did was actually form community within our musician scene. Because as yeah. you know, as aviators and Bronified, you would see a lot of collabs during this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whole lot. Well, yeah, because a lot of people would have ideas for certain things, but not necessarily an entire song. So they'd go to other people and be like, hey, do you have like, any idea on this? I think the stream just crashed again. There's a Did lot it? of problems with the stream today. Something happened. No, I got okay. All right, well, that's weird. Maybe I just need right. to refresh. But yeah, anyway, yeah. Uh, um, what was I saying? <laughs> Crap. Um, um, just, just collaboration, people, have an people idea having ideas. That they would oh. need to get other people involved. Yeah. Because, well, one of the things with these compos is you only had, like, a week to write a song. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it really helped the fandom in, um, in terms of quality and stuff like that because people would have to write fairly quickly, which isn't an easy thing to do. No. And in a competitive so it, it environment. A lot of musician. Yeah, it helped a lot of environment. Where they're getting a lot of feedback from one another yeah. and building yeah. that community, which, as you've seen, this fandom, I mean, just go Brony Palooza this year, that <laughs> audience was insane. Mm. Uh, it was. I don't know because was I wasn't there. <laughs> well, I'm you just saying, I don't think that we would have this in our fandom if it wasn't for stuff like Toast Beard and the early mm. music community. Yeah, for sure. Mm, no, definitely not. No, I, I, I think we can't really argue that point. And yeah. the collaborations I really love, but sometimes it's a downfall depending on who you're collaborating with because there's a problem with me. like to collab with uh, people just like, oh, I want to collab with this person and this person, but then there's a downfall saying like it doesn't mix well or it's, people don't work together. At all. Well, and that's that's where the collaborations um, that's up to the actual the people collaborating because a lot of the times and I see it a lot in the the current fandom right now yeah. that people want to collaborate with these big name peoples just be or peoples wow. big name <laughs> people just because they're of ponies. their name and and just not because, they're because of the way that their actual style could lend themselves to a specific song so yeah it, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it doesn't matter, like, there are other people that we know that are really good other than the big name musicians in this fandom. Like, there are tons of good people that we've met that are really good yeah. at instruments. I cannot think of a, especially not a guy that is named after, like, this Mortal Kombat character and a princess from the show. What's his name? Jack Cel Celestia or... Uh, oh, 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 um, Jack's um, Blade? Celestia Blade. Celestia Cadence Blade. Smoke. I don't know. Cadence <laughs> Smoke. Cadence <laughs> Smoke. Uh, can that be my next profile for, for Oh, wait, 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 wait. Baraka Sparkle. Baraka <laughs> <laughs> Sparkle. Jeez. Oh, uh, where's Shadow? Shadow, can you please Photoshop that? <laughs> Baraka Sparkle. Purple Baraka oh, with wings. We need to please. tell Luna Jax <laughs> about that. Yes. Oh, Luna Jax! No, just call him name. that the next time you see him. <laughs> yeah, I remember Jax in Mortal Kombat and yeah, yeah. Jax with the arms. Actually, yeah. I think uh, while we're on the subject of Toastbeard and that particular Toastbeard competition, I do believe Dice's submission is from that same competition. It very well could be. It very well may be. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I think it might be. So what is that so, selection? Hmm. Uh, that selection is September by The Living Tombstone, featuring Mick the Microphone. Get it, because it's September 1st, haha. <laughs> you say Mick? It's Mike. <laughs> Mike the Microphone. Yes, he did. You, you said Mike, Mike the Mick Microphone. Jagger. I was busy. His name is Mick the Mick Jagger no. <laughs> Yes, it's September okay. by The Living Tombstone, featuring Mike the Microphone and Pinky Sky. And you're listening... <laughs> on Kendralot Hill, on the mountain, by the river, through the trees to Grandmother's house. Okay. And <laughs> to just, just to finish that off, Vigo.
I can't remember what happened in September when everything is gone, when it's dark and I'm alone. It's been forever since I could have remembered where the hell is every pony. I just want to know the story of what happened right before I became so alone. Sorry, that was September, as Dice was trying to say, but we were kick snaring. It's yeah. okay, the kick snare moved us all. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll be honest with you, I was like, I couldn't remember if this song had the signature kick snare thing going on, and then it ha- oh, then it started in, and yeah. I was just like, oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. When did we're referring to pretty much any Tombstone song you listen to. And hopefully it came out in September. Yeah, but a... any Tombstone song you're listening to, yeah, yeah, look check. at the... those kicks in there. It, in fact, came uh, out, it came out in came out November. November. We're no, I'm talking about year-wise. No, after year-wise. September. November year-wise. 2011. November 5th, 2011. I mean, it makes sense it didn't come out in September because the song's about not remembering September, so... What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Also, is it oh, just okay. me, or is there a lot of these like post-apocalyptic themes in Pony? Well, like I said, I think this particular uh, song came from that same toast beard. But even then, isn't that a trend that has been continuing through? Uh, with... It has to do with the position of something sweet and cute and, and cuddly like ponies with something horrible like, you know, and nuclear I'm, war. Now, do you think <laughs> that's the popularity of Fallout Equestria? Yeah, that's what I was going for. Do you think that has had an influence on the music scene, or has the music scene influenced the fanfic scene? I uh, think that there's no, it's both. I will say, I like, okay, both. Rainbow Factory was pro- probably, I mean, weird one, and it was probably inspired by. Uh, by the the fix that dare, dare not speak its name. Yeah, we 
talked about it in my no, show. He's no, 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 no. I'm talking about the song, the song Rainbow Factory yeah. came before the fic Rainbow Factory, but after the fic that dare not speak its name. Oh. Oh. The one that Pinkie Pie, yeah. Got it. And I honestly think that particular competition fire on that fic. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's definitely yeah. a lot of back and forth between Fic and this fandom. Yeah, there's there a really lot. There's is. a lot of back and forth between any of those art mediums. Like, anytime anybody can look at something and get inspiration from it, or listen to, or read something, like it comes from everywhere. So, mm-hmm. it's kind of a like a perpetuating cyclical thingy that just, yeah. Basically, what Luna Jack like, always said in our panel: everything touches me. Yes, <laughs> and that's a, that's something I think is really cool about the fandom. About I mean, Luna Jack, no, the fact that the Moving on. <laughs> I was just saying, like, we're not Sorry. we're not sharing any of this tonight, but you know, I think about how the buttons animations were influenced by a character in the show, and then. A song came. Several songs have come out about that, which also influenced further animations. It's like this yeah. art media feeding art media feeding art media, which is a really interesting dynamic. It is fantastic when it works, but um, I, I'm going to have to look up the name of it. Give me a second. I was going to say the Buttons Mom effect, but that's not right. <laughs> the Buttons oh, Mom effect. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, oh, it's called Sturgeon's Law. 90% of everything is crap. <laughs> is what? 90%? Is crap. Okay. Somebody, somebody. Sound once... like you said crap. I did. Yeah, he said crap. Oh, okay. Somebody once asked, why is 90% of science fiction crap? And his response was, well, 90% of everything is crap. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. Sturgeon's Law definitely applies to everything, and that includes the fandom. Let's yes. be honest. I didn't know we were mm-hmm. talking about some uh, bad artwork, though. That we were talking well, no, about, like, but I'm saying, I'm saying we're talking stuff. about, you know, people, uh, every, everybody gets inspired by something within the fandom, and because there's so much being produced in the fandom, sometimes it gets a little hard to find the good stuff. So, Parchi, you're saying we are the 90%? Here, well, it's a harmony. that goes without saying. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. represent the I'm full of crap. Um, well, yeah, I think that's a fair, <laughs> fair statement. Yeah, we, we, the thing is that a lot of us get, as we said, a lot of us get inspiration from other people's work or just from mm-hmm. anything around us. I mean, for example, September, this song got animated as well. That was another thing, mm-hmm. another inspiration. I did and not. Oh wait, yeah, was did that, not know that. Uh, yeah, it was animated by. Oh God, Brony Dance Party. I can't. I guess. I'm Brony so Dance sorry. Party. EDP. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He he used to animate a lot for the old. Um, uh, old songs. I think the yeah. only he as what I remember he only animates the ones that are his like his favorite songs. That's what I recall. He, he yeah. animates the ones that inspire him. This is exactly okay, what inspire. we were talking about. All right. Inspire. Favorite. Inspirations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, that was a freaking song or the title of this show. Almost. Almost, but not quite. It Almost. was. That's why I said. But it was. It was. It was. But you yes. know what? We've come a long way, and that actually segues right into Parchy's song. For yes, it does, and that was a smooth segue. It really was. Speaking of, uh, speaking. Of Finding the gems hidden amidst uh, things that are maybe not the greatest, not the not the worst either. Uh, the song I'm featuring comes from the after party of the original Balloon Party album, stuff that didn't quite make the cut. And it is the vocal mix of Silva Hound and Art Attack's How Far We've Come featuring Miu. You're listening to it on Elements of Harmony on Candlelight. Hill from the hill somewhere in Beijing. (laughs) (laughs) 
We're, we're definitely not welcome to Beijing. <laughs> Who's eating candy? Imagine, we, imagine if there's a pony. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not saying we get invited uh, to it.
Hey, and we're back. Hello. Every oh. convention out there, get Silva Helm back on the scene. Yes. No kidding. That's my yeah. reaction to this. Was back song. in the day when was trying to be Skrillex. Wow. But it wasn't <laughs> wow. like as generic as Skrillex. No, that's because it was back then when yeah. Skrillex was not generic. He was Skrillex, and then he everybody was the probably tried thing. to copy yeah. him. That's yeah. true. Um, but, no, but then the thing Silver, is, Silver found um, sound. this particular track, the version that made it onto Balloon Party was the version without the vocals. And I can understand why, because it does not do the vocals justice. And they are gorgeous vocals. Mm -hmm. But I love the vocals. I love the lyrics. And uh, I felt that, you know, this, this version needed a showcase. Yeah. I always like the vocal mix of this song better. So. Yeah. Like, originally, I was like, ah, I don't like the mixing on it. But then after I listened to it for a while, I was like, I don't care about the, the, the mixing on it. Because, like, it's just mm -hmm. I didn't find the mixing that bad, except for just a couple spots that seemed a little off. But for the well, most I part, I thought it was actually the, really well done. Yeah. The, the, I actually, the vocals really themselves were muddied up a bit. Like when it um after the build and it kind of actually went into like the the full speed full energy part of the song. Mm -hmm. I like, I don't. It had a lot of momentum going for it, and I liked it. That yeah. and the fact like I haven't actually listened to anything vaguely resembling dubstep in a really long time, so it's kind of all back to being fresh for me. <laughs> Well, and it helps that, like, this isn't, like, your typical dubstep artist which goes out there and just tries to make it all wubs. I mean... No, exactly. Silva yeah. Hound goes it, through movements. Yeah. Thing is, yeah, I he really... actually... He does have structure and stuff. I can tell that there was a, um, like, verse section and chorus section and stuff like that, so... Yeah. yeah. Silva does not repeat, like, the same thing over and over again. Too, yeah, I like that each of the drops was different. Yeah, each yeah. of them like, was different. They like, built it on a theme, but it wasn't the same drop over and over again. Like it just doesn't do it for like every thirty seconds, like the same thing, boom, 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 all that. Yeah. Sorry, I, I don't listen to dubstep that much. I do like <laughs> this though. I don't think any of us really do. Yeah. No, it's I don't like it's, it's, it's no, it's, and that's the problem is that um, EDA. Um, repetition is a huge part of EDM, so um, trying to balance between having the repetition there, because that's what and makes it a good having dance track. It, it's what makes a part of the song feel familiar, so that you know, like you know how to dance to that part of the song. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, but still having enough variation in it that it'll feel fresh and not too repetitive to the point where you're getting bored interest. listening to it. Yeah, yeah exactly. This variation is so how think, you build it. I think interest. the song did it pretty well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Yeah. They no, really and I think... How far we've come. Yes. Get out. Us actually talking about an electronic <laughs> song, is that what you're referring to, Infinite? I mean, that's part of it. Yeah, yeah no, I, I realize they... What you okay, call well. that dubstep or Melbourne bounce or what? I don't know what well, I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> you know, in fairness, <laughs> so just to unconfuse the audience because they realized that I didn't unmute my mic for them, um, so only you guys got the glory of that pun, and audience... It wasn't even that you're glorious! You're welcome. I saved you from that pun. I missed the pun completely. The fact that he just read... I forgot he, it, and he rolled I credits the, it too, He rolled so. credits the entire episode. He does. Say that. Oh. Surprise. But, uh, yeah. I guess we're going to the next. I think it's time for. I think we're out of things to say about that one. So, yeah, it's time to go into uh, Snow Song. Yeah. yeah uh, we got 20 okay. So, let's do it. All right. Uh, the song I picked was uh, Kindness by Acoustic Brony and uh, Mando Pony. I know I should have picked Loyalty, but I like Kindness more. So well, and actually, I don't. Me for it. I, I don't think Just... we. We have featured loyalty, but I don't think we have featured kindness. We so, have not. Um, so this we is have a not. Move for the show. All right. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. So <laughs> this is uh. So this is kindness by Acoustic Brony and Mando Pony. Into elements of harmony. What? 
Or or just just them go. Just you want me go. to combine them? I think no, I'm... that's what okay. That's what they're you know what? Just continue. We'll talk about it after the song. <laughs> Fine. Acoustic Mando Brony. It's Elements of Harmony on Candle Light Hill. Candle Light Hill Theory. I just had a slide, brain fart because slide. you people mess with my mind. Anyways. <laughs> Sing it loud 
end. That All was right. Not Loyalty by Acoustic Banana Brony. <laughs> it wasn't? <laughs> Dang, I was all hyped to talk about Oh, no, wait, no, I see on the video it says kindness. <laughs> yes, now show some kindness. Okay. And... So, first of all, uh, if you're in an uncultured swine like Snowblitz, then you have to know that Acoustic Mando Brony is actually the collaboration band name of Acoustic Brony and Mando Pony. There you go. I said that's the why name. the name is different. Yeah, no, I'm just saying sure. that, like, you know, we aren't we weren't arbitrarily deciding on a ship name. It's the name of their their collab band. Yeah, yeah. Like and they you chose had that the name. written in the doc, and you're just like, <laughs> I don't know why I wrote that in the doc. <laughs> <laughs> because I refused to read it. I just like to say it my own way. I like to say it my own no. way. Well, you know what? I like to say <laughs> Snowblitz my own way. It sounds like dumb at... Um... <laughs> oh, <laughs> go on. I was going to say Snowblitz. <laughs> that's your one that's for you. the night. <laughs> I stopped back myself. To Acoustamando, bro. Uh, yeah, you know, back like, to yeah. Just, you know, that is kind of a... One of the reasons I said not loyalty, a lot of people really only know loyalty and it overshadows the other songs that they've been doing around the elements of harmony name yeah. of our show <laughs> to be honest i haven't listened to a lot of acoustic mandabroni so like um, so far i've heard two of their songs and one of them i just heard tonight the other one well, is loyalty <laughs> generosity you've never heard i'll fly higher or anything like that i'll fly no, higher there are really a few song. that um there yeah. are a few that mando actually doesn't have main vocals in like uh jimmy's actually the one singing there's also well, uh, I, mean, like, I don't know if i told you guys those. this but my my following of element of oh, almost at elements of harmony of the music community dropped off when i started video editing for eoh and didn't have time to listen to music anymore well, good thing Dude, we're covering music that existed before, before our podcast exactly like, like that's why i'm able to pick out songs and go oh i remember this one. Oh, hey yeah, yeah I'll fly higher came said, out a while ago <laughs> yeah that came out like well, no acoustic mando brony like i didn't really follow acoustic, uh, acoustic brony or mando pony oh. at the time so okay, I got you. like i knew of them but i didn't care <laughs> yeah i think when i and they were probably the first musicians that i've heard of when i didn't know Jack about this fandom. Yeah, like, no, I well, saw their like their videos, and that was basically it. And I was like, oh, this stuff is actually really good. And then I got into like like the music and loved it. Like yeah. the first the first Brony song I ever heard was was Twenty Percent Cooler by Ken Ashcorp, and I haven't heard anything else by him. So it's because Ken Ashcorp doesn't really usually do. I mean, he yeah, but I haven't heard this. anything else by him. <laughs> yes, you have. Forrest covered one of her, or uh, yeah, Forrest covered one of his songs at um, uh, Broncon oh, last year. Did she? Yes. Oh, right. It was last a supernatural, I, which I, I believe in. It was a Gravity Falls song. Set. Right. No, you did. I thought you yes, were with us. I did. I went out for a cigarette, and oh. <laughs> people wow. were playing cards against humanity, and I'm a terrible, terrible friend. <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. You'll miss your friends' <laughs> concerts. Yeah. <laughs> so, anything you guys want to say, so, and then Bubble we can Bubble. move on to the next. Um, um, oh, it was beautiful I, vocals. Yeah, like, I will say that. Like, typically, I don't like Mandapony's vocals. Um, this is the first song that I heard of his that didn't sound to me like he was trying to reach a range that was outside of his uh, like comfort zone. Which I mean, well, you should. I'm you should do stuff that? outside of your. No, you're not. No, no you're, you're definitely stuff outside you're of your not. comfort zone, but typically like, you don't record that stuff. That's usually what you do in practice and stuff. The thing yeah. is, though, that like what Six said, uh, what we were talking about before, like the harmonies. The harmonies are very men. Yeah, you can tell. I, I'm, um, that's typically just another complaint that I have with Mandapony stuff is that I don't usually like his harmonies because he doesn't do straight up harmonies. He does like a cross between normal harmony a little bit of counterpoint so like just an alternate melody line going along with it so See, I, I, I actually like that counterpoint it means exactly what i said it's an alternate melody line going along with it yeah i like yeah. counterpoint. typically a lot, works but... it works good if there's enough 
differentiation in it, but it depends when on it's the song. That though, close so. to each other, it it ends up sounding a little vocally cluttered. See, I like I like Counterpoint because it's like one step away from a few fugues when they're done right. Yeah. And so I, I like Mando Pony's uh, harmonies normally because he comes so close to a counterpoint. Yeah, no, I could see that. Close, but not quite. So yeah, but not quite. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so um, next song? Yeah. Next song. That's yes. what I'm saying, go next. on. Uh, okay, I couldn't hear you. You were turning into a robot from Skype. Yeah, yeah. Skype has been doing that tonight. Yep. Um, All right. So uh, the song that I pick was Alex S's remix of Luna by Auto Da 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 Yeah, Travis, you're a beat brony. That guy. Uh, you're listening to Elements of Harmony from the hill on the mountain, through the woods, under the bridge, downtown. That's where I drew some blood. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> downtown, you could uh, under the bridge. Remix of Luna by Odyssey Eurobeat. 
and uh, I I like oh. I like it. Isn't he called Europe Brony now? Not Odyssey Europe. I, no, I now it's Odyssey, Odyssey Europe. He used Odyssey to be Odyssey. Europe. He used to be Europe Brony. Uh, Most people he, just call him Travis. He used to be Odyssey. <laughs> I just yeah, call him I Travis, just Travis now. I really well, I mean, call him Travis. What I call him like outside the fandom he was referred to as odyssey inside the fandom he was referred to as eurobeat brony he combined the two into odyssey eurobeat eurobeat but he's i think he's moving back towards just odyssey you know all these changes in names is just a travesty hey infinite get out of the oh wait that was dice (laughs) Uh, what is my life (laughs) guys yeah when There's even infinite is going wow at the badness of that pun but in all seriousness that was a fun song yes that was a it. very fun song i forgot how much fun uh alex s's drops are yeah no he, like he, he, he does good with them well like what i like sweetie bell and stuff like that Good stuff. Honestly, oh, what that's I my like most about alex s if you ever get the opportunity listen to him, him perform I just think his live mixing is way better than his recorded stuff. Yep. Personal yeah. opinion here. So, which too bad we almost had out. the chance no. to listen to him on uh, or last year, but it was freaking super late at night. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it was so good though. It. it was good. I stayed around for about half the set. Even the YouTube like... recordings of it is good. Which last year they didn't do a live mix. Like when I say live, I mean those. They didn't add audience mix. However, with how crazy the audience success you can hear them on his yeah. uh recording and it's really adds he to the was energy. the he was the last person on that night yeah. right yeah. yeah yeah and he was he was the special guest it was a yeah it was a secret surprise for everyone yeah <laughs> i do I, I, this <laughs> year uh travis's uh set was amazing like i loved mm-hmm. it. and he and what was funny I too like to, he said i need to find the uh the thingy the yeah the, what's amazing and like, I remix. I remix the the tombstone re, uh, song of Discord <laughs> and all that. Like he, re, so it's like a remix, yeah. remix. Of Odyssey's <laughs> remix of Tombstone's remix of Odyssey's Discord. So technically, yeah. he Nightmare owns their version. <laughs> yeah. So so technically, so technically, Travis owns Discord again until Tombstone remixes, remixes, no, remixes, no, no, because, remixes. No, what he has done has not reclaimed it. It has, in fact. Further cemented the idea that it's Tombstone's song, because yeah, now it's like trying Travis to has a remix hand on, of it. Like, it's like <laughs> trying to do the hand over hand thing with the bat for mm-hmm. whatever that's for. I Baseball, never really understood yeah. what that was for. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so, like, so I think that's was, about all the time we have for this evening. Wouldn't you agree, guys? Yeah, yeah that was pretty much yeah, it. No, I think I think we're we well we we've, we've hit ten o two now, so and so. <laughs> Classics without mentioning the names Mac Con or Not a Clever Pony. It's kind of a shame, but good things need to come to an end. So, but there's many more great things coming up on Camelot Hill. So check out Elemental Sounds on Fridays at 8 p.m. Luna Beats on Fridays at 2. Then Like and D's Beats on Saturdays at 2 p.m. And Mixology at 6 p.m. And there's tons more things Saturdays. So be sure to check out our program page for more. And also, if you're going to be around Anaheim this weekend, don't forget that club. Turning to EQLA. Until next time, this has been Dice. <laughs> A guy not looking at the sheet. Year old man. Okay, let's try uh-huh. that again. <laughs> okay. You should just kept going. <laughs> no, just take a full run of it. No, it's my Twitter went off and I glanced away because he was talking about shows and I'm sorry. Remember, kids, don't smoke because then you're gonna not read the song. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know what? It, that, just take us away, Infinite. <laughs> Play us away, keyboard cat. Let's yeah. just say, Dars. Eh, Dars. This is <laughs> time to suspend. Dars. Dang it! Are you serious? <laughs> I'm sorry, did, are we starting over? Uh, I, yes. Just said this dice. would be an appropriate time for that picture now. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I, I keep hearing Infinite say dice. I don't hear dice infinite just please end the show just end the show uh, <laughs> they know who we are they know who we are
and Starlight. Thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> hey.